Yo, what is up guys, Ultra Ball's back with another SPL game. Uh, this time we have an Aura game between Jinji and X-Ray. Uh, I think this was from week one, uh, so I know like this might be a little outdated, but me and Doc are still trying to get through all these games. So, before they start, we'll look at the teams really quick. Uh, both have Mega Metagross squads, because... Gross is like so, even in Oras, even though it doesn't get the speed boost turn one, it's still like stupid broken. <laughs> I think like a lot of teams, or there's been a lot of Metagross teams so far in SP, this SPL for Oras, so it'd be interesting to see if down the road they uh, they want to ban that from Oras or not. I mean, they could they could definitely ban stuff, you know, post the meta game. Like I mean, Dougie's banned from Oras now, even though it was uh, it was never banned. It was banned, like, after Sun and Moon banned Doug Trio. So, like, there's... They could definitely go back and ban stuff, like, at a later time if it's broken in the tier. Like, Gross might be there. Um, it's just stupid, Mon. Like, look at both teams. Neither team has a proper switch into Metagross. Like, to be honest, both teams' initial switch into Metagross is, like, Metagross. Because, <laughs> like, it could Oko everything else. Like, at least X-Ray has uh, a Suicune, which could eat hits. But, first of all, like, it's not going to eat Zen Headbutt well at all. And if they're... If, uh, Jinji's Metagross is T-Punch. It's even more of a problem. Uh, but we'll look at team structure, I guess, quick. So on Jinji's side, be, the Tran could be the Rocker or the Lando's the Rocker. Uh, Lando could also be Scarf in this matchup. But I feel like I feel like I'm at least on Jinji's side, the Lando should probably be defensive. Otherwise, he has no switch into Low Bunny at all, which is obviously a very good um, Pokemon in Oras. It's good in Sun Moon too. Probably even better in Oras. Whereas like on X-Ray side, I guess the Lando's could be the Scarfer because the um, he does have a Clefable, which is probably Rocks, or it could be Calm Mind. So it's either, um, yeah, on X-Ray's side, the Rocks are on Clef or Lando. On Jinji's side, it's either on Heatran or Lando. Uh, but like I said, I'm pretty sure the, the Landers on Jinji's side has to be defensive. Where on X-Ray's, it could probably be either. Uh, in terms of Scarfers, if X-Ray Scarfers not Lando, then it's probably uh, Latios, right? And um, on Jinji's side, like, the only Gar set you really see in Ores, it would be either Life Orb or Specs, one or the other. So then, between the Latios and the Keld, one's probably Specs, one's probably Scarf. That would be my guess. Uh, the Latios is also the Defogger, so it could be Scarf, Defog. It could also just be, like, a Life Orb as well, um, which would actually help for, like, opposing Keldeo if it had ro or if it had Rooster Recover to be able to check that, um, you know, come in more than once. Uh, whereas, like, if your Keldeo check in Oras is Scarf Latios, that's really bad <laughs> because uh, Specs Kel's just going to do, like, 32 at Scald and burn you, and then you can't even switch in again. So, like, that also makes me think that the Lotties on both sides probably should have some form of recovery. Um, but, yeah. We'll see. Uh, so Jinji leads off with Keldeo as X-Ray leads off with the Suicune. So if this is Vincune, uh, because like 99% of Keldeos are like choice locked in um, in Oras, if it's Vincune, he could probably protect the suit he locks himself into. If this is like Specs Keld and he clicks Hydro, like Clef doesn't want to switch in, of course. Um, but he could definitely go Latios here. I guess like the good play would be going Hard Lottie. Uh, on Jinji's side... I guess you could Scald Fish, but like you don't want to click Scald in case the Suicune stays in and clicks Protect, right? Because uh, if, if Suicune stays in and clicks Protect and you Scald, uh, it actually probably still forces out the Suicune, to be honest, because um, if the Suicune gets burned, then it's a lot less of a threat. Unless it's um, Crocoon, uh, so like Rest Sleep Talk. And if it is Rest Sleep Talk, then he probably won't stay in here anyway, because you wouldn't want to take a Spec Secret Sword to the face. So, I mean, Jinji could Scald, but he instead doubles here into Metagross. So Metagross comes out on the... Ooh, Fire Play. Um, I guess X-Ray was thinking there that the Keldeo would either Scald or Secret Sword. Like, Hydro doesn't make sense, so that's why Clef was his play. Because I guess if the... Um, could probably eat up Scalds from the Keldeo, because Clef's in... Um, Clef's in Oras usually run more Spidef. Um... Then, like, in, in, in Sun Moon, it's pretty much all Fizz Def, right? 252 Bolt, but, uh, yeah, in Oras, I think the spread is Calm, like, 70-something. I forget exactly. That's, like, the standard, at least. So, he probably went Clef, because it covered, like, it, he Skulls trying to burn the Latios, or he Sacred sword Secret Swords the, um, he, or he Secret Swords the Suicune. I'm trying to, I can't get my words out right now. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, uh, Jinji makes a play to Metagross, which I guess covers both Latios and the Clefable, so good play on his part. Uh, I think he's free to throw off a mash here, or because he doesn't really have good switch-ins to mash at all. 
And X-Ray is, like, in a bad situation. He could go to his own Metagross, maybe. Yeah, he does. Oh, fire double by Jinji into the Gengar. Um, I guess this covered X-Ray going into Lando, because with Levitate this gen, like, these things, like, Gengar kind of walls, like, defensive Lando. Um, like, I can't really do it. It could Stone Edge it, which obviously would hurt, but I don't think it would kill. Um, yeah, it does. I don't, it definitely doesn't kill. It's, like, defensive Lando, non-stab Stone Edge. But, I mean, X-Ray could also be offensive Lando, and if it is, then, uh, oh, Knockoff's another thing they could run. Knockoff would obviously kill Gengar, so... Uh, this doesn't, like, if he went into this on the Landorus, it wouldn't have been as good of a play. He probably would have been forced out uh, to see what moves the uh, the Lando was packing. But either way, like, going to this on the Metagross was fire play. And now, okay, I'm surprised he stayed in because this uh, Magnezone could have been Scarf. So I, I guess my, um, my thought process behind that would be that uh, Jinji probably calced the damage on the um, on the Magnezone and saw it had to have some HP investment. And of course, if it's HP invested, then it's not going to be Scarf, right? So he probably calced the Shadow Ball, said, saw that the Magnezone had some HP in it, and then from there decided, oh, I'm free to Shadow Ball again. Um, yeah, so here, I think... Though, I, I think, okay, so I'm not positive here, but the way Jinji went into Metagross the first time, I think he was trying to catch the Lottie, because it might be Pursuit. I'm not positive about that, but it would make sense, because that also supports his Keldeo. So, if that's the case, um, going back to Metagross is very obvious here, so I would consider if I'm Jinji, Jinji Shadow Balling again, because I think X-Ray will double here. Uh, at the same time, Gar's really nice, so he might not want to make that play. Did he Shadow Ball? Did he sh Oh, no. I knew it. Sometimes you just have a hunch, right? Like, you just have a feeling. Uh, I had a feeling there that uh, the double was coming out. So now, I guess these guys could just Earthquake each other if they have that. If one of them has Pursuit, they might try and Pursuit the other Metagross. Um, otherwise... Neither of them have proper switch-ins to Metagross. This is what I mean. This is why this mod's busted as hell. Uh, yeah, Landorus is going to take about f a sh 50 from if he goes for Mash. Uh, so he Earthquakes instead. Uh, but like I said, I don't think this could be... I mean, you probably don't want to risk Scarf this. He just risked this thing being Scarf and just Ice Punched it and killed it. <laughs> that play was wild, but like... Because, I mean, the, the Lando could have been Scarf, but I guess he was assuming what, like, I saw is, like, it has to be defensive to be able to hold teams together versus, like, uh, Lopunny and stuff like that. Unless this team's known and I just don't know. Uh, that could be true as well. Maybe the X-Ray knows the team. Um, yeah. So now we see exchanging Earthquakes. The crit on Jinji's Metagross sucks a little bit, but, I mean, it still would have been in... This is still a speed tie regardless. So... I feel like X-Ray probably shouldn't risk this B tie because his Metagross still has a good amount of health left. He goes into Keldeo here on the Ice Punch. So X-Ray did risk the tie. Um, like, uh, yeah, I guess this thing was low enough where it wasn't really eating hits anymore, but I don't know. He got double into Gengar on the uh, Clefable. That's a fire play too. So I, I think the Keldeo has to be Scarfed. That's why he keeps switching it out on the Clef because... Um, Scarf Keldeo is not going to be able to do shit to this Clefable. Uh, even Hydro Pump isn't going to be doing that much. Because like I said, it's probably more Spadef oriented on uh, X-Ray side. So at that point, like he keeps doubling out because he's not going to be able to make any progress by staying in and click clicking Hydro Pump or Scald or whatever. So now Jinji made the Fire Double into, into Gengar. So now X-Ray is going to have to pick one. Uh, unless this is Scarf Lando. But the way that he went uh, Latios before pretty much confirms that it is... Um, yeah, so this we saw leftovers. So yeah, this is gonna die to the next Shadow Ball. Uh, X-Ray's Latios almost certainly has to be. Um, what what's the, what am I looking for? It, it, oh, Scarf. It, like the uh, X-Ray's Latios pretty much has to be Scarf, uh, especially because he brought it out on the Gengar before after the Magnezone sack. So that pretty much like guarantee or confirms that he's Scarf Latios, right? Because I don't think he's going into it just risking the tie and like praying that he doesn't stay in. Um, which is weird, because that means X-Ray has literally no switch in at all to sp good s to Specs Keldeo. Like, Specs Keldeo would just ravage his team. Like, like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> he just has to, like, predict right. <laughs> um, so we go Latios. I d don't get that play at all. <laughs> I feel like Latios was not really nice for the Kuhn. I don't get that play. Uh, I think... 
he was like thinking, okay, he's gonna Psy Shock my Gengar, but why would he Psy Shock? Like, Draco kills Gengar from 70 or 60 or whatever it was after, it, I think it had four Life Orb hits in, is it 60? Like, yeah, Draco was free as hell, so, I mean, I guess you're risking the miss, but like, either way, you're clicking Draco there 100% of the time. Uh, plus, it would have done more damage to the Heatran, so I don't like the Latios play at all. Uh, we can see rocks go up here, or I, I agree with Magma Storm on Jinji's part. Uh, also, oh no, the rocks were probably on Lando, right? Because it was defensive, so... Um yeah, or like the defensive Lando, I guess, could also have like a third coverage move, like Stone Edge, uh, Earthquake. HP Ice isn't that common in Oras, but it could be HP Ice or Knockoff. Uh, there still could be Rocks on Tran, but uh, I'm assuming it's not, especially because we see Magma Storm. It's probably it could be like a Magma Trapping, like in uh, like in Sun Moon, right? So like Magma Storm, Earth Power, Toxic Taunt, but you don't see that very often in Oras. That's more of a Sun Moon set, mostly because of Toxapex, but um, still a cool set regardless. So. I think the reason why he magma stormed for sure it was in case like x-ray was like predicting rocks i wanted to go metagross on rocks which would be super risky but like he didn't want to let the metagross come in for free that's why he magma stormed so i understand that and we see a taunt on the rest um cool play on Jinji's part but x-ray could just throw out a free skull too uh and Jinji's probably he's 100 percent forced into keldeo right here uh, and actually has no reason not to click Scald, because if he burns the Keld, it's, it just accelerates the game, you know. But I think that X-Ray's in a fantastic spot right now, even though Jinji played Super Fire the first few turns. Like, since then, uh, X-Ray's been playing really solidly, uh, and I think he's in a great spot to win now. Um, but yeah, like I said, I didn't like the Latios sec at all. That was probably, like, your main way of dealing with Kuhn, so, yeah, I don't like that play. Um... He goes Keld, and now X-Ray could just go back into Clef. If I'm Jinji, um, I'm, I'm hitting the double back into Metagross every day of the week. Um, if I'm X-Ray, I would consider Scalding again on a double. But yeah, like, because I feel like Jinji has to double the Metagross here. Um, that doesn't cover going, that doesn't cover X-Ray going into Scarf Lottie, though. So I think X-Ray at this point could go Lottie. Because it's going to cover the Metagross switch, and it also covers the Keldeo staying in and going for a move. Uh, whereas Clefable covers like the Keldeo staying in, and he does go Clef, but that wouldn't have covered a Metagross double. So I don't uh, necessarily like agree with Jinji's play of staying in there. Uh, like Hard Gross would have worked phenomenally there, and I think that was probably his best play, was going Hard Gross on that turn to like, get himself back in the game. Uh, because at this point, Suicune's looking very difficult to beat. Um, I think X right here is going to go into... Um, Either Lottie, if he has a move to touch the Heatran, I, he goes hard gross and gets rewarded for it. That sucks. I, I don't think that was the play. If, if the Scarf Latios had, like, Surf or EQ to hit the Heatran, I think Lottie was the play. Um, and then, like, you pretty much get a kill there at that point. Um, yeah, like, for example, if it was Surf, nothing is really switching into that. Um, X-Ray now could click earthquake which is super obvious so i wouldn't click yeah 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 yep yep good play by x-ray again i don't agree with Jinji's. i don't know like i felt like there's no he's clicking earthquake with a gengar sitting right there um and like the the switch out was super like was super obvious so i may have honestly stayed in there and clicked earth power uh, and also, Jinji could have clicked Earth Power against the Clef, because the Clef wasn't staying in. I guess he magma because, in case he went Latios, but, like, he didn't have good switch-ins to Lottie anyway, uh, if it had a move to hit the Tran. So, like, I feel like, I, I, on the turn that the Gross came in, he could have just Earth Powered, would probably have been a better play. Because, like, if he goes Suicune, you're kind of forced out anyway, even if you hit. Like, I, I understand that you could taunt it, but he doesn't really need health on the, on the Suicune, and it was gonna kill the uh and it would it's gonna kill the heatran with two scalds anyway most likely so we see a toxic come out as we see, probably see a scald and then a taunt's gonna come out from the tran and it will probably die to the next scald at least that's what i would assume is happening here um did he scald rest would be a yeah that was the most obvious play too scalding there so the other play was pretty fire on uh, x-ray's part so it was the keldu against the metagross right so he doubled into Heatran predicting the Clefable, but X-Ray doubled into Suicune knowing that either Scald was coming out or the double into Heatran. So Suicune covered both of those, so that was a really fire play on his part a couple turns ago. Uh, now we're going to see this is probably indeed Scarf Latios, and it's just going to clean up here with Surf. So, yeah, I mean, he could switch out and come back in and Psy Shock, but like, it doesn't matter at this point because like the Keldeo is going to die to, what, three of these anyway? Um... Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Scarf Keld. I just, I feel like it's 
not that good, even in Ores. Um, in Sun Moon, it's dog shit. Uh, I hate Scarf Keld so much because of Pex. Um, it was good early gem, but right now it's really bad in Sun Moon. Even in Ores, though, like, Specs is so good, and Scarf is just so eh. Like, it's a lot easier to deal with Scarf Keld. And I understand you need some sort of speed control, but normally you see, like, the Lotties being Scarf on those type of teams. Um, but yeah, I, Jinji played really well early game, but after the first few turns, uh, X-Ray just played, like, perfectly after... I guess after that double, like, Jinji made that double into Gengar on... On who? On the Clefable, maybe? That was, like, turn 6 or 7. After that, X-Ray played almost perfect, and uh, it came and it showed because he came back and won pretty convincingly. So, uh, good game to both uh, both players, though. It was, it was a fun game to watch. Gross is broken as hell. Um, that's something that we didn't need to watch this game to see. <laughs> when both me uh, when both teams' Gross counter was their own Metagross, that's how you know the shit's busted as hell. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and uh, until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.